is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. I hope you're finding some way to stay cool these days. We're dry, warm in Colorado Springs, but hot in the Steel City. Mostly sunny skies, dry skies all across Pueblo right now. There's a live look from Woodland Park. Clouds starting to build in, but dry across Woodland Park right now. This is your big weather story. Here's what everyone's going to be talking about here for the rest of the weekend of the weekend. This big, massive area of high pressure, kind of like a ring of fire right there, bringing in some serious heat all across the state of Colorado. So tomorrow, Thursday into Friday, you're going to see lots of sunshine around here. That really is the key weather word. It is going to be hot. You're going to need one of those right there. You need a fan. You're going to need to uh, post up real close to the fan or the air conditioner, especially if you're really sensitive to the heat. And a good idea to check in on the elderly during this heat wave here over the next several days. Really quiet out there right now. We've got a couple of wannabe thunderstorms, mostly dry east of I-25 right now. We've got a few showers southeast side of Colorado Springs. A couple of thunderstorms up in the hills right now between Divide and Cripple Creek. Thunderstorms complete with lightning right now. Those storms pushing to the east at about 15 miles per hour. Dry in Pueblo, southwest of town around uh, San Isabel, Defendeffer Road, Burnt Mill Road, getting a little bit of rain shower activity right now. Again, everything pushing off the mountains, moving off from west to east at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. Disturbance is going to push through overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. That'll bring in a few clouds tomorrow morning, but don't get your hopes up for cool air. Those clouds are going to break up very quickly. We're going to see lots of sunshine and again most of the low level moisture the fuel for thunderstorms being scoured out to the east tomorrow so that's where the best chance of p.m. thunderstorms will reside tomorrow closer you are to the Kansas border mainly dry skies along the I-25 corridor outside right now it's only 84 in the springs compared to 98 in Pueblo 100 right now the current temperature from La Junta out to Lamar our lows tonight certainly on the warm side only dropping back into the 60s across most parts of southeastern Colorado tomorrow's temperatures even hotter than what we had today 94 in the springs pueblo afternoon high temperature of 102 degrees there's not going to be a whole lot of wind could see some gusty outflows in some areas tomorrow especially further out to the east but the main story is the heat so you need to heed this advice drink a lot of water you don't want to dehydrate the weather's going to be painfully hot here for the rest of the work week into the weekend use sunscreen if you're outdoors for an extended period of time and certainly uh, seek air conditioning if you're really sensitive to the heat and Good rule of thumb, you never ever want to leave kids or pets in that car. Maybe you're headed up to Bronco training camp on Thursday at Dove Valley. Man, it's going to be hot. You're going to need to lather on that sun sauce by 11 a.m. 88 and at noon, 92 degrees with lots of sunshine. Bronco training camp just around the corner. Love to say that. In Colorado Springs, we're going to be locked into the mid 90s Thursday, Friday, Saturday as well. Going to see a cold front come through. I love talking about cold fronts in July. It's going to really have an impact on temperatures. Only 81 on Sunday. More moisture in the atmosphere Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So a better chance of those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. In Pueblo, it's hot and it's here to stay. You're going to be locked into the triple digits not only tomorrow, but Thursday. Friday and Saturday as well. It's an extended heat wave across the area, but you cool nicely early next week. Those 80s going to feel awfully nice and a better chance of landing some PM thunderstorm activity. For Canyon City, I've got you into the triple digits Thursday and Friday. Still awfully hot on Saturday. At least a few clouds will start to build in during the afternoon hours. And then cooler and wetter, the main message, Sunday, Monday into next Tuesday. And for Woodland Park, you're going to be hot and dry even at that elevation over the next several days. Thunderstorms back in the mix over the weekend all